Cats and welcome back to the channel where once again we have a new review slash overview on a first time printed DC Omnibus, yet another Batman centric video. This Omnibus is the Batman Adventures Omnibus, one that a lot of the members of the community have been asking for and it's finally here. But before we jump into the details on the book, a quick reminder that if you are looking for this Omnibus or any of the books that I feature on my channel, to use the channel sponsor organicpricebooks.com use the discount code stay nerdy for two dollars off your order or when ordering three or more books you can use the code stay nerdy ship it together to get five percent off that order also for my manga lovers i am a right stuff affiliate so if you'd like to help support the channel when ordering manga from right stuff you can go into the description down below and use my affiliate link both the link and the organic price books code are great ways to help support the channel and every little bit matters. So thank you for that. But now into the details on this particular DC Omnibus. This does have a cover price of $150, which is a standard DC Omnibus price that we are seeing them slap on pretty much all DC Omnibuses at this point. But this does have a page count of 1,200 pages, so it is a fairly thick book with a lot of content collected. But this is a very exciting omnibus for me to be going over with you guys, so let's go ahead and jump into it, take a look at the art, and talk a little bit about what exactly this omnibus is. Here we are, the Batman Adventures omnibus, Kelly Puckett, Paul Dini, Bruce Tim, and Mike Parabek. This is the cover that the Omnibus actually has. This was the one that was solicited. I much rather this cover, super happy with the design of this dust jacket. We can take a quick look at the spine. This is a very big book, so be careful, it is a brick. But the Batman Adventures Omnibus, this is probably my favorite spine in my collection now. And then on the back, you do have some Bruce Tim art. The legendary animated series comes to comics. A little deceiving, but we'll kind of go over why. But let's go ahead and get under this dust jacket and take a look at the board. We are under the dust jacket, taking a quick look at the inner flaps. I am Vengeance, I am the Knight, I am Batman, an iconic, iconic quote of Batman. Kelly Puckett, Paul Dini, Bruce Tim, and then Mike Perobeck, some of the creators that you're going to see in this omnibus. But let's stretch this baby out and take a look at the wraparound cover. Here we are with the beautiful wraparound cover, Bruce Tim artwork. We have Batman and all of his rogues gallery. And we have the amazing Batgirl making an appearance on this cover as well. But this is a absolutely awesome wraparound cover, but they did interrupt it with the spine again or the title on the spine, but it's okay. Taking a quick look at the binding, we do have a beautiful, beautiful eye. Um, this is a big book, so definitely make sure you stretch that binding. All right, let's get right into the omnibus. So we do have an interesting end page here featuring all of the characters that you'd come to expect throughout this omnibus. Then we have the creators page with Kelly Puckett, Paul Dini, Bruce Tim on writing, uh, Mike Perobeck, Bruce Tim, Ty Templeton on pencils, a very vast um, group of creators had a hand in this omnibus. And then you do have the table of contents here, even more contents, and then an introduction here. This is a introduction and a foreword. The introduction is by Kelly Puckett, and then the foreword itself is by Scott Peterson. And then you get right into the omnibus. This is the cover that they were soliciting. I much rather the one they went with, so I'm very happy for that change. But let's go ahead and get right into the omnibus. So. What you are going to be finding throughout this omnibus is kind of a episodic storytelling of Batman with Bruce Timm's art style, Kelly Puckett and Paul Dini's storytelling, very similar to that of the TV show. But one thing that a lot of people do kind of get confused with or get confused about this omnibus is that it is not an adaptions omnibus. So you are going to have some stories that may be very similar to the stories that you would see in the Batman animated series, but they are not a one-for-one -one copy or a one-for-one -one translation as far as the storytelling elements or the characters or the timeline. So it is not necessarily like the X-Men animated series, the Adaptions Omnibus, because you are going to be having fresh new takes 
interesting new stories taking place here. The one adaption that is collected is the Mask of the Phantasm adaption that is collected in this omnibus. It's probably the highlight of this omnibus also, but still it's not an adaptions omnibus. So if you're going into it thinking that you're going to be told the same stories, then take a breath of fresh air because you are going to be getting brand new stories, brand new um, plot devices, storylines, timelines, everything like that taking place throughout this entire omnibus. But this entire omnibus does kind of spread out the focus when it comes to not only the main characters as far as the heroes and the Bat family, but also when it pertains to the villains. You are going to have stories that will be following majority Batman, but you do have a handful of stories in here that follow Robin as well as Batgirl, um, just to name two that are focused pretty primarily throughout this omnibus. But when it comes to the rogues gallery, it's very similar because you do have major focuses on a lot of characters taking place. You don't just have Joker stories taking place in here. You do have Ra's al Ghul being focused on, Scarecrow being focused on. You have, of course, Mr. Freeze, who is a highlight in the animated series, but is also a highlight in this omnibus. And it is pretty awesome to see that and kind of see those stories taking place following those characters. And it is very similar to the show where you have sometimes one issue storylines, sometimes two to three issue storylines, but really there's not an overarching story that's taking place. And for my friends that are huge fans of episodic style of storytelling, or maybe even um, something that just kind of goes with the flow and doesn't stick to one plot or one story and or an overarching story, then this is definitely going to be something you're going to like because overall, it is that in a nutshell. It's literally a group of stories that follows Batman taking on um, his villains and being Batman and following his his sidekicks and his Bat family, such as Batgirl and Robin, which we saw earlier. But you also have, which is another highlight in this particular omnibus, the Mad Love Issues, which is the first comic appearance of Harley Quinn. She obviously didn't first originate in the comic books. She first appeared on TV, but you do get to see her making an, a, com a comic book appearance here in this omnibus, which is pretty awesome. Um, I definitely highly recommend this to obviously fans of the TV show because that's really what you're going to be getting here. Even though it's not an adaptions omnibus, it is very similar vibe, very similar aesthetic because you still have Bruce Tim art and even issues where Bruce Tim isn't doing the art and maybe there's a fill-in artist or some superstar artist kind of taking over for an issue or two, you have them even changing and manipulating their own style to look like that of Bruce Tim's. So it's not a uh, far reach to just say art is by Bruce Tim in the Somnibus because honestly, even the artists that aren't Bruce Tim they make it look like Bruce Tim, so it might as well be Bruce Tim, in my opinion. But it is a very interesting story, obviously, because you are getting that similar kind of animated world that you got from the TV show or from the cartoon, but explored in comic book format. And I think that does translate well to people that maybe aren't huge fans of cartoons or TV shows, or maybe just don't have the time or the attention span for a TV show like the Batman animated series and much rather dive into an omnibus. This is just as good. I think it's directed towards the exact same audience, which the best way I can kind of describe the people that would like this is if you took some of the more laxed natured Batman stories, maybe some of the stories that took place in the Silver Age or maybe early into the Bronze Age, but you also kind of injected it with the Adam West Batman feeling as well. I think that is the best way to kind of describe the essence of what this is and what this omnibus is and what these issues kind of feel like to read. Because you do have some issues that are fairly dark in nature, but not overly dark. You're not going to get the blood and gore and murder throughout this that you would kind of come to expect from more modernized Batman comics. 
but you do still have some dark elements being explored here. But you also have the massive sound dialogue popping up, like an Adam West being bam popping up in the middle of the show as well. So it's a fairly interesting um, read, especially if you're more used to actual gritty dark Batman comics or more a fan of those gritty dark Batman comics like myself. It is a interesting read to kind of dive into Batman with a completely different mindset and lens on and kind of, I guess, enjoy a different adventure of sorts. Um, I have said on my channel before that I am not a huge fan of episodic style of stories. I'd much rather larger plots that kind of lead to something. So while I did enjoy this because of nostalgia reasons, I definitely could find myself wanting a overarching plot and a overarching story, but I kind of knew what I was going to be getting into once I purchased this omnibus. Um, some of the highlights, like I said, is going to be the Mask of the Phantasm, um, Mad Love, the Iceman issue is very good as well. I'd probably say about m mid to the end of the omnibus is pretty solid material. Some of the earlier stuff is a little early, a little dated, maybe even a little kid friendly for my uh, my taste at least, but still I highly recommend anyone that is a fan of the TV show to 100% purchase this omnibus because I'm sure you guys would have a blast going through brand new adventures with Batman the Cape Crusader, but not in the TV show format, which is pretty awesome. The extras are pretty interesting as well. You have a lot of awesome variant covers from artists that kind of make their art look like Bruce Timms as well. So that's pretty cool, but you guys can check that out. So you have a little bit of something to look forward to, but let's head back to the table for some closing thoughts. And welcome back nerds and nerdettes. So like I said, this is definitely one that pretty much all of the community has been championing for and asking for, and it's finally here. But one thing that is commonly misconstrued about this omnibus is that this is not a Batman animated series adaptions omnibus. This does collect all of the Batman adventures, which is pretty much a completely separate storyline or a group of stories, but it is very similar in nature to the Batman animated series. Having a group of stories that are told between issues fairly in an episodic fashion, but still not a exact one-for-one -one translation from the animated series into comic book format. So if you are looking for that, I'm sorry to let you know that this is not a complete adaption omnibus like the one we saw Marvel put out for the X-Men animated series. This is kind of its own entity. The one adaption that is collected is Batman the Mask of the Phantasm. And that adaption is collected in here, so if you do want a adapted format of that particular Batman movie, then you do get that in this omnibus. But with that being said, you do have pretty much all of the same vibes and feelings that you would get when watching the Batman animated series, but in comic book format. You do have Bruce Timm's artwork, which is literally the exact same artwork used for the Batman animated series. So even stylistically, or as far as the imagery that you're seeing, you are getting the exact same vibes and feelings when reading this omnibus, but it's just not a complete and total translation when it comes to the stories that you're going to be reading compared to the ones that you'll be watching with the series. But still, it's definitely a omnibus that I feel like not only new readers will enjoy, but fans of the animated series because it is explored throughout the world that is being built here. This is very separate to obviously the DC canonical comics. This is its own world with its own Batgirl, its own Robin, Jim Gordon, Joker, Harley Quinn, all of the characters that you would expect to see, but they get their own fresh coat of paint, their own voice that is kind of specific to these creators and these writers. The art is completely done by Bruce Timm throughout the omnibus, aside of a couple issues. Um, sometimes you will have a stand-in artist like John Byrne, for example, that 
comes in, but even then they kind of transform their art to resemble that of Bruce Tim. So you still have that kind of cartoony Bruce Tim aesthetic to the art, whether it's Bruce Tim doing it or not. But it is a great read. It's a very impactful read. Not only do we have an omnibus here that is great for new readers, but you have the first appearance, comic book appearance of Harley Quinn. You have the Mask of the Phantasm adaption. You have a lot of bang for your buck here. And overall, the rating that I am going to give the Batman Adventures Omnibus is going to be a 7.2 out of 10. I was more of a fan of the X-Men animated series than the Batman animated series. So maybe some nostalgia is getting in the way there, but I still very much enjoyed this omnibus this entire comic line really in general and i highly recommend it to new readers and fans of the animated series but that does wrap up today's review slash overview i hope you guys enjoyed it i'm very curious to hear back from you guys and hear if this was one that you picked up this was one that you were excited for i feel like a large majority of the community was very very excited for this omnibus so i'd love to hear what our community thinks i do feel like a lot of people think it's going to be a one-for-one -one adaption from the tv show or the animated series and may be bummed that it's not but still it's 100 worth reading especially if you just like that vibe and style of the animated series because that is definitely captured within but let me know down below what you guys think also if you are not a part of the Illuminati, hit that subscribe button to join the community. Also, for those of you that could do me a favor and hit that thumbs up icon, it would really mean a lot to us here on the channel. And if you did enjoy today's video and you want to be notified when more like it are uploaded, hit that bell icon. But other than that, thank you again for watching. I truly appreciate you guys and stay nerdy.